Okay, so right now I've got this file right here, and I can extend a little bit more here using my see, I've got my trimmer tool there. We're using the three tool option, one of my favorites. I can do trimming and grabber, and I can do selection. So I'll play the file. Okay, that's pretty boring, right? So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna, gonna open up a little bit more. I wanna get to the end of this file. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take this trimmer tool and I'm gonna go here and I wanna zoom in even more. So I'll go to here, and I think I'll zoom in a little bit more. See that? Using my old zoomer right there on the top, we showed you last lesson. And now we're getting tighter and tighter. Now, I'm going to undo this. Now watch this. I'm going to go to shuffle mode. Grab this thing. Wait, let's go to slip mode first. Grab this file, put the direct top to the very beginning. Let's zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to get it to the top. There's the beginning. Okay, right there. Grab the file, push it there. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go to shuffle mode. Here in shuffle, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm pressing command, my out bracket. And now I got my trimmer tool to the edge there. I'm moving it up here. Look at this. Bam. It goes right back at the top. So I want to find the beginning of this region. As I cross the apex here. So I'm going to go to here. And, ooh, that's a pretty good view, right to there. I want to get the beginning of it. So that's not the beginning for me. I look again closer and get to the very top. There we go, that's the top here. Good. And now I want to look a little tighter. I want to get the just when that symbol starts to hit. Right there, it's good. Now, I'll play the B. Now, this B is approximately 100 BPM per minute. That's 100 beats a minute. Okay, so um, I know it is already. So I'm going to take this now. I'm going to go to grid mode. Bam. Now, here you can see my tempo is set to 100 BPM. You can tell right there. I'll click on this right here. If a little tighter, click on that thing. And it's 100 BPM right there. See that? So now I can take this. I'm in grid mode. And my grid, what's my grid set to? My grid set to, we'll set it right here. As you can see right now, my grid is set to quarter notes. So right here, I'm a loop. That's a good size. Now we can tell, of course, according to right here, my beats and bars, and I can loop it here. So to loop it, I'm going to go here to Options, and we're going to go to Loop Playback. And so we're getting boring here. We're going over and over the track. It's kind of cool. Sometimes you're in a recording session, you know, and the singer can't sing at a particular speed, we'll say or uh, the rapper can't rap, or whatever's going on. You look something for a movie, and they want to make this file fit perfectly in sync. And this is what we do. We'll normally sit up here, and we'll go, okay, bet. Here's what we do. We're going to go time here, and we got time compression. Now, I may have to, at some point here, uh, change the tempo. I clicked on here. got my tempo changed. See this? I'm going to make it a 120 BPM. One, two, zero. Press. Now, this is my resolutions right here. See that? I'm doing a quarter note resolution. Be aware of that. And I'll press OK. And now, it's supposed to be 120 beats per minute, right? So this is off now. So this beat's not going to match this tempo. And so what I need to do is make it fit that. Now, as you can see here, the tempo says 120 BPMs. And here's how you do it. You go here to your trimmer tool. You go to TCE. It's our Time Compression Expansion Tool. And all we can do here is that we can change this to fit the grid. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, grab the end of it, pull it in somewhat, and get it right there. And now, I'll play the beat. Now, I'll undo it. Now, as you can hear right now, the pitch of the sample did not change. 
What did change was the speed. Okay? That's what time compression does. Let's say you've got somebody who really can't sing that well. You might bring her into the session, you do a couple of backgrounds, you want to speed her tracks up, but keep the pitch right. She may only sing at a slower pace better. So, let her sing at that pace, then you can re time compress the tracks. So you time compress those vocals again and make them fit into the track you want to do. It's great for remixing also. So that's how we do it there with grid. I can do it in slip too if I want to. Make it just fit some other parameter I want to make it fit or do it in slip. If I go to spot mode, I click on the track, I get the spot mode dialog box. See? And it gives me, the only option I actually have here is the duration and the ending. As you can see right there. And that's how we use our time compression tool. Now I can go back. Let me press undo here. Where's my undo? Undo this event. We're back to 100 BPMs right there. Now sometimes you've got a track. Let's say you got this one right here. And we want to loop it, I don't know, maybe five or six times. Or you got a vocal and it fits in this one bar. And you want to put the backgrounds to be, let's say, four bars. And you don't want to record them again because the girl couldn't sing them right the first time and you got them perfect now and then she can relax, she's doing her thing, you know, and they want to, hey, hook me up. That's how you help them out. You loop the damn thing in the track. Let's go back here. I'm going to bring it down a little more like this. And this is in the track. I'm going to go here, using my trimmer tool again, and go to the bottom here. And we can use our loop tool. Look, that's pretty cool. We get a loop tool. It turns into a loop tool. Here's how this works. You will grab, let's say, the parts you want to get here. I want to start from here. And oops, we're back in the wrong mode. Cancel that. Let's go back to the more I want to be. I want to be in like grid mode. And go to here. Can you slip this better? Yes. Yeah, go to here. There we go. And we're going to go to here. I'm going to take this track. track. I'm going to get from the top here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a little bigger. Here we go. Get to the edge right there. I want to get it right into the track, right, right on top. See, it's been a top part, not the bottom part. The bottom part, the trimmer. Move to the top, we get the loop tool. Go from here, I'm going to loop all the way to the end like that. And now you'll see this little arrow, a curved arrow there, which is going back to the beginning of the file. Now, let me shrink this back down again. And now, I can go to my regions menu select the loop and I have the number of times I can loop this loop length see the loop length there I can go here and say well, look I want to loop this ooh, four times press 4 press OK and see what happened it made a new file and it's a 4 bar loop from the top and you see here in the bottom of each one of these files there's a loop section there the bottom of each one of these files it created, there's a little loop curved arrow at the end of each one of those, which signifies that this is a loop measure. Now you can change just one measure. Let's say we change the first one here. I can change the length of it, and it will change the other measures as well. But the purpose here is to be able to understand how to use your trimmer tool.